Hello everyone. What we're going to do today is, is we're going to work on consolidating, you know, multiple automations into one. I love using the Choose Feature in Home Assistant. I think it's one of the coolest implementations on the automation side and actions that the developers have put in, in my opinion at least. But I hope at least one person finds this useful. Enjoy. use case I'm going to go over in this will be, let's say you have two bathrooms. Let's say you have exhaust fans and lights in both bathrooms. You used to have to have four separate automations to turn them off. This was a while ago, but I'm also going to introduce you to the choose feature as well as very, very, very basic template um, actions. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings, automations and scenes. We're going to create a new automation. And from here, we're going to add a new trigger. We're going to do state, and let's look for those exhaust fans. The state will be on in this case. Let's just say if they're on for 40 minutes. Now let's edit the ID, call it exhaust fan on. And what I like to do is I like to name these whatever I call the trigger. Now what we're going to do is add another trigger, state, and now we're going to find those same bathroom but their lights. Same thing, when they turn on, we'll just do this one for 30. Now we're going to edit that ID and call these light lighting on. And then I'm going to rename this just like that. And you don't have to do that part, but you do have to do this trigger ID part in order for this next section to work. From here, we're going to click add action. This is where that choose option comes in. Now for our condition for option one, we're going to do triggered by, we're going to do exhaust fan. Now we're going to add an action call service, and then we're going to do fan, turn off. We're going to switch to YAML here, and what we need to type in is target, and then entity ID, and then I will, of course, put the link in the description to this little bit of code that we're going to use here. Rename this one. And we're going to do another option. And this one's going to be the same, triggered by. We're going to do lighting on. And now our action will be call service light dot turn off. And then we're going to switch the ammo again. All right, do target, entity ID, trigger dot, entity ID, close the squigglies, close that. We're going to rename this one, turn off appropriate. Save. All right, now to break down a little bit more about how this works and why we have to have two separate ones. And it'd probably be easier if I switch to YAML. Now you see right here, these entity IDs start off with fan and these entity IDs start off with light. So you can't just have a one off to turn off whichever one it is. We have to have one for the fan so what happens is whenever the fan reaches 40 minutes of being on, it activates this trigger. Now, let's say that both fans are on. This one's been on for 5 minutes, this one's been on for 40. It's only going to turn off this fan. It will not turn off both of them. And that's what we want, because if one fan's been on for 10 minutes, we don't want it to turn off because our rule is 40. 
Now we have to do the same thing for the lighting. Same concept. When the lighting turns on for 30 minutes, it will trigger this. And let's say that only this one light's on, it's going to turn that light off. Let's say this light's been on 10 minutes, this light's been on 30 minutes. It's only going to turn off this one because that's the one that reached the condition. I hope this was informative and have a good day.